So this is the second set of examples for the third lesson to do with parametrics. Right, let's have a look. So I've got 3 to the x minus 1 plus xy plus minus y squared plus y. Uh, show that dy by dx can be written as something times by log of something. Right, let's have a look then. That 3 to the power x minus 1 I don't really like. We've dealt with differentiating 3 to the power x but not 3 to the power x minus 1. So I think I'm going to rewrite that 3 to the power x minus 1 as 3 to the power x times by 3 to the power minus 1. And that's the same as 1 third times by 3 to the power x. So I'm going to use that to help me. So my equation now is a third times by 3 to the power x plus xy minus y squared plus 5 is 0. Right now then, let's differentiate it. So this one is a third times by log 3, 3 to the power x from page 6 of your first differentiation pack. Now this one's nice because this one's chain rule. And you've got to remember which bit you're differentiating. So if I do first bit differentiated, that's 1, and the y stays the same. I've differentiated with respect to x, so that's fine. Now then, I'm going to differentiate the y now. So that becomes 1, but it's the wrong letter. So it needs a dy by dx next to it. And then I'm going to put the first bit down there. Then I've got minus 2y. It's the wrong letter again. So dy by dx, 5 differentiates to nothing, and nothing differentiates to nothing. All right, let's have a look. Um, let's try and tidy up ever so slightly. Um, we'll do some rearranging. So I'm going to take the third log 3, 3 to the x over, the y I'm going to take over. So they're all going on the other side but they're both going to be minuses, aren't they? So minus a third, log 3, 3 to the x, minus y. So that's dealt with these two. Now then, if you think, if I take the 1x out and the minus 2y out as a factor, that would be on the left-hand side, but then I'm going to divide by it. So I'm going to divide by x minus 2y. And then I think I've got everything there there. Now if you look, what's quite nice in this equation is lots of x's and y's in the right hand side. And I want to evaluate, I want to find dy by dx evaluated at the point 1 comma 3. That's a 3 by the way. So if I put my x as 1, I've got minus a third log 3 times by 3, because uh, that's 3 to the power 1 minus 3 there for the y value, let's make that y look like a 3, um, all over 1 minus 2 lots of 3. Okay. So I want it in some form of logs with, <laughs> with e cubed. <laughs> right. Hmm. Let's give that a go then. Uh, So a bit of a tidy around. Well, the three cancels with the third. So dy by dx is minus log three minus three over minus five. I'm just going to times three by minus one on the top and the bottom. Right, let's have a look. If I times 3 by the minus 1, I've got log 3 plus 3 all over 5. Mm, right then. <laughs> I need it in terms of logs with E's in it. Right, so, if I'm a bit sneaky, <laughs> if I think as about 
must be in times by one. Then one is the same as log of e. <laughs> and now I've got my e cubed in there. So dy by dx is log 3 plus log e cubed oops, all over 5. So dy by dx is log of, so the plus tells you to times them together, 3 e cubed over 5. <laughs> I'm not sure I would spot that, to be honest. Uh, that's pretty cheeky. Never mind. All right then. Let's have a look at the next example. So example 3. Right. So show that it's always decreasing. So we want to see what dy by dx looks like and see if it can be negative. Right. So for differentiate, I've got e to the x. I've got e to the y dy dx. That's equal to 0. So if I rearrange dy dx will be minus e to the x over e to the y. Now then, think about your graphs. e to the x and e to the y look like that. They're always positive. So e to the x um, and e to the y are greater than 0. for all x and y belonging to the reals. There. So if that's the case, if both of these bits here are positive, that must mean then that dy by dx is always less than 0. Because the e to the x and the e to the y are positives divided by positives. So that must be less than 0. So if that's the case, as dy by dx is less than 0, e to the x plus e to the y equals 2 must be decreasing. Now I think it's always good somewhere to sneak in at the top that I forgot to put here that it's decreasing if dy by dx dy by dx is less than 0. So you'd sneak that in at the top just to tell the marker you know what you're doing. Right, that's the end of the second video.